Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me. This week I'm planning for the 19th to the 25th. Am I? No, this is wrong. Let me grab my other notes. <laughs> I'm planning for the 12th to the 18th of December. Um, I'm using the festivities kit. This was a Christmas in July exclusive kit from 2021. So I've got the old like original version. So the format is a little bit different. I did re-release it and it is still in the shop. It might not be in, in stock, but it's not being discontinued. So I'll check. But um, yes, this was exclusive art. I'm obsessed with this kit. The little dog, like the colors, the flat lays of the food. It's just so cute. And I love the traditional colors. I wanted to use it for Christmas week. And then I remembered that I'm gonna use October Mystery. So this got moved to the week before Christmas, but it's so cute. So we are gonna get planning with this kit. This is the sidebar. I've got loads of quote boxes because I released it as, I called it a secret Santa. The premise was, there was like three bundles. I think it was uh, five, 10 and 20 pounds. And the logic was like, you're purchasing a little gift for yourself as if I'm your secret Santa and you set the budget. So the budget is whatever bundle tier you wanted to buy. And it was this exclusive art kit and you got loads of extras. So that's basically why it's not a normal format. There's extra sheets and stuff. But yeah, the dog is so perfect. I love a Bernese mountain dog. My dream dog right now is a Bernese mountain dog mixed with a poodle called a Bernie Doodle. They're so expensive, like ridiculously expensive. So I will not be getting one, <laughs> but that's so cute. But this is a Bernese mountain dog puppy. Um, I might be able to have a non hypoallergenic dog now because when we got Aristotle, I reacted to his saliva I was like still allergic to him, even though he's technically hypoallergenic, but I've been around other dogs since. I've been around like a sausage dog and a Rottweiler mixed with a Border Collie and didn't react. So I'm wondering if I've maybe got over <laughs> my allergies. I'm hoping so. These underlays are from Squirrel Prince Co and they are gold in the like square pattern. They were from the advent calendar. And I bought Kat the advent calendar for Christmas from Scroll Rinse Go and I couldn't use mine because she didn't know she was getting it. So I can finally start using it now after Christmas, which is exciting. I'm using the like gold plaid pattern ones for next week and it looks so cute. I did the base already. Um, I haven't done the plunge yet, but I'll need to quickly catch up on that. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the plans. Very exciting this week because I finished my Black Friday orders. So I wanted to mark that on the Monday. But the first thing I marked was that we had snow. Um, from memory, this was not a great deal of snow. <laughs> we never get like great snow in the UK. But we had a little bit and it was fun. So I marked that with a Coffee Monsters Co. in Moti. I marked that I finished my Black Friday orders, which was exciting. I worked on them sort of all of the previous week and we're gonna get back to normal this week, new releases and stuff. So I was really glad to have those finished. And I marked that with an appointment box and a crafty rat, well, Club Gemini rat like star sticker because I like using these for like achievements. I'm hopefully gonna fix the focus for my next plan with me. Jess from Kentish Girl Dress did put in the comments like, you could try and use manual focus. So I think I'm gonna use that for the planner and then it will just have like my hand will be blurry sometimes, but at least it won't keep changing. Although it doesn't seem to be going in and out as much as it did on the previous plan with me. So maybe it's fine. <laughs> I then marked that there was a postal strike this day that I forgot about. So we tried to take the orders to the big sorting office and it was closed because it was like, um, like a higher level strike. So post offices were open, I think but the like sorting office and the processing of mail behind the scenes was not. So we had to go back home and drop it off at the local post office. And then we went to Sainsbury's. I can't remember what for, but I think we went to Sainsbury's for something, for something specific. And then there's a new Tim Hortons that opened. It's not really new anymore, but it opened like next to Sainsbury's. And we tried to go when it was new and the queue was just ridiculous. So we, we went around the drive through like when it was new, but we haven't been since. So we went there for lunch and it was actually really nice. It's got like um, 
not really like a like a conservatory part but there's part that part of it that has like a really good view of the car park so you can people watch and it's just nice inside so we sat in there and had lunch I came home and I wrapped presents this day I think I might have picked wrapping paper up from Sainsbury's because I got some new wrapping paper this year I do try and use what I've got but occasionally like there'll be like a nice new one that sort of complements my existing ones so I try and get like matchy papers anyway um, and then this was the day I got my new camera. So I've had my new camera for about five weeks now, almost five weeks and I'm getting there with it gradually. <laughs> but yeah, I really love it. I wish I upgraded so much sooner. The main thing with it is that it, it doesn't overheat. So the old one I could only record maybe like 20 minutes if I'm lucky, but this one can record for like an hour and a half in 4K and it's fine. <laughs> so so excited to get plan with me's done in one take because that's like my main problem with plan with me's is i've stopped halfway through and then i've got like distracted or something so anyway on to tuesday aristotle had the groomers this day so we took him to that he normally goes like half nine or nine o'clock so it's always early but then we have a couple of hours without him which is sad it's so weird to come back and the house be empty <laughs> Then um, there was a weird glitch on Duolingo where it went back to like the old layout and then it went back to the normal one again. But I didn't like the old layout because I didn't ever like use du Duolingo back then. So I did not like it. <laughs> then I cut mystery this day and marked that with a silhouette and a script from my shop. I think the mystery ones are custom, but I can release mystery scripts. Um, I then <laughs> tried to book my COVID jab. I tried to book it online through like the NHS website and I didn't realise that if you're asthmatic they don't consider you like at risk of COVID. Um, well if your asthma is under control and my asthma is under control but if I got COVID I don't think it would be so I did kind of want my jab but they wouldn't let me. I designed mystery this day and um, we watched Grey's Anatomy in the evening. I think this was the week that we watched a lot. No maybe not. I don't know um but I was enjoying it and we haven't watched any since so I might pick it up and watch it on my own if Tom's not that into it I think knowing that there's so many seasons like puts him off wanting to start like a really long running show whereas I'm like yes there's so much to watch <laughs> so on to Wednesday it was my dad's birthday this day so I marked that with a fox and cactus like a birthday turtle that's from a really old freebie I cut mystery today as well well on Wednesday and then I had a present drama but I don't know what this is <laughs> like because it's been so long I can't remember what I wrote but I put it in my planner on the off chance that I remember what it was unless it could be my secret Santa so we did a secret Santa with some planner friends and I got Emma and I really wanted to buy her there was this recipe book on Amazon that's quite new well I saw it on TikTok but then um I ordered it on Amazon and it's all of the Sims meals like in the recipe book that you can follow like it makes them into like actual recipes and it looked really cool and she loves the Sims so I was like yes this is the perfect idea <laughs> so I ordered it in November and it kept getting moved like the dispatch date and at the minute I don't think I have a dispatch date we're now well into January so I had to get her like a different gift <laughs> as well just because I wasn't sure it was going to come on time and lo and behold it didn't um but I think I potentially moved it to be like shipping to her address this day instead of coming to me because I knew it wasn't going to get to me before Christmas. Um, we listened to Christmas music on the radio this day and it took me ages to find a station that was actually playing Christmas music and in the end I think we settled for like naughty's music because there was nowhere that was consistently playing Christmas music. Um, but we went to Costa and we got a coffee and I did open PR applications on the Wednesday. So on to Thursday, I washed towels this day. I think this might have been my new towels. I'm not sure. I can't wait to be caught up with the uh, plan with me so that I actually know what I'm talking about. Then, oh, I remember this day, I locked myself out of Photoshop. I have an app on my laptop that I paid for. It's called Cold Turkey. And the idea is that it like manages your app so you can tell it only like allow me access to productivity apps for like the next three hours so I did that because I really need, needed to do designing so I was like okay I'll allow like Spotify Photoshop 
silhouette and finder so I can see my files and it's like just the apps that I need to work and last time I used this was last year and Photoshop automatically updated itself so instead of being called Photoshop 2022 which it was last year it's now 2023 so I only allowed the 2022 version because I didn't update the apps that were allowed so I locked myself out of actual Photoshop that I needed to use <laughs> and it was so annoying there was no way to overwrite it like Tom came and had a look and we thought we could like cancel the process in terminal or something and it didn't work <laughs> and I was so annoyed so I had to go and I think I filmed in this time to try and like pass the time but it was very annoying um so eventually I managed to get some designing done that day but it was much later than I intended <laughs> Then I had to ring my dad and ask him what he wanted to do about his birthday meal and we ended up postponing it until after Christmas because we were both busy and there was no like real good opportunity to go for a meal. Um, I did do mystery briefs this day as well and then I rang my mum in the evening because I think she was thinking we were still going to go for a meal on Friday but I'd already spoke to dad and we said well, we weren't <laughs> so I just had to sort all that out. Then on to Friday, I marked that we had new releases. I finally made myself new release scripts because I don't always mark new releases, but sometimes I do. And then I have no way to write it or I could literally write it with pen, but it's nice to have a script, I think. Um, then I marked taking photos and doing listings with a camera doodle from the shop, the sticker sheet doodle. I think that might have been in the kit, but I do have them in the shop as well. Then this day we were having problems with the socket in my office. There was something weird going on with the light electrics the whole week and my printers kept turning themselves off and on again. And if they did it mid job, it would then restart the print job. So very annoying because if it got to like, say I'm printing 50 sheets and it gets to like page 48 and restarts, it then prints another 50. So I was having like double of some sheets and it was such a nightmare. So we got our brother-in-law to come round and just have a look because he's an electrician and he was able to fix that for us, which was great. We got my new curtains this day. So for Christmas, my mum bought me these like gorgeous forest green floor length curtains for the living room because before we had some like ugly beige ones that just went to like the end of the window, not the floor and it just looked really weird so I finally replaced those I do feel bad because Tom did pick the previous curtains but I think it was like a let's just pick something neutral that will do for now so I don't feel too bad about replacing them and calling them ugly so I got those today well I always say today but like I mean the day that we're on but it was very exciting to go on new curtains um we had a food delivery for Ari's food and it was I don't know what happened to it in transit, but one of the pouches of food had split open. So all the other pouches of food were covered in dog food. So we had to wipe all of those and clean them and like assess which one was broken. And luckily it was just one. Um, we went to McDonald's this day. And then for some reason, I can't remember why, we played GeoGuessr with Julia and Sean on the Friday instead of the Saturday. So speaking of Saturday... <laughs> Um, we started the day with a lion. We try and lion on the weekends because, well, we, I was going to say like we get up early on the weekdays, but we don't. We are very much like get up at like eight or nine and then go to bed at like one kind of people. We went to Costa this day and um, probably got a hot chocolate. I had been getting a Terry's chocolate orange hot chocolate and putting two shots of coffee in it, which was very good. Sad that they've discontinued that. Um, and then I realised that I actually pulled a sticker for that and it didn't fit. So, well, it would have fit, but you would have still seen that I wrote underneath it. So I didn't use that in the end. I printed and cut more mystery this day. And then I had some Amazon orders come. So I marked that with a Coffee Monsters Co. Um, Amazon Prime sticker and a delivery script from my shop. And then this day we hung the curtains. So we watched like videos how to do it. And we realised that my curtains are a little bit too narrow for the window so they don't bunch as much as I think is normal but they still look fine and I still much prefer them to the beige ones but I think they would suit a slightly smaller window because I have got them on like a bay window but it's fine we learned how to properly hang curtains so it was a good experience overall and then in the evening we just watched some YouTube Moving on to Sunday, I marked that we had a lion again, and these once more with love stickers. 
I must have had these since like I started planning. They're so old. Um, but they're very cute and they actually ma match the spread quite well. I do struggle to use them when they're kind of two different colours because it's not always relevant like to the spread. But they, these match well. I marked finishing cutting the mystery this day with another mystery script and a silhouette script from my shop. With the underlays, I think I use like 18 for a spread and I've got two left that I can trim. So I'm just trimming a little bit to fit in the gap so that I can use a movie marquee. And like you can't tell at all that it's like not actually a continuation of the previous underlay. But I used a movie marquee to mark that we watched the World Cup final. And then um, I had a little voice call with Becca and Josh. Tom was not feeling very well this day, so he went to sleep. Well, not like to sleep, but he went like for a lie down. So I went on a call with Becca and Josh and they played Minecraft and I was just like, I think I was prepping the mystery at this point. Um, so that was nice to have a little catch up. I then filmed a plan with me this day. I think this was when I filmed this plan with me. No, I don't think it was. Mm, no, but I did film a plan with me this day and for my dinner, I had a ready meal that was like, um, I think the, I think it's wasabi and it's like a chicken katsu curry thing and it's so good and it's basically what you would get if you went to the restaurant. Like, I can't tell the difference, but Tom doesn't like, like, is it Japanese food, I think? He doesn't really like that genre of food, so we never get to go, but they do ones in the supermarket and they're actually really good. <laughs> so I had one of those for my dinner. This is my completed spread. I think it looks so cute with the gold foil underlays and I just love the Christmas like colours and everything. It's so cute. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one with me. Bye!